want to share with you all how I use hula hoops to design a table. Now before we go any further, this is a collaboration video with Green Crystal Rose and Mimi's Designs. These are two talented women on this platform and the link to their channel and their videos for this collaboration will be in the description box below. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be making use of hula hoops. So I got two. I'm removing the backing so that I can cut the hoops and start up with the project. I made sure they were all of equal length and then I kept them aside. This is an old table that I made about six years ago and I want to change the look. It's a very simple table actually. All I did was just displace Dollar Tree mirrors on top of it and then I had two flat woods that's at the top and at the bottom with three thin woods in between. Now this is what the table looks like and now I'm going to take the hoops that I just cut into four and this is how I want to decorate the table with the hoops. Now because they're overextended, I cut out the excess and then I attach all the hoops to the table. This is the type of nails that I'm using. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I have all my hoops attached and this is what they all look like and they're really strong and sturdy. Now apart from this design, I have used hoops before to make a decorative wall shelf. And it's so pretty and so sturdy at the same time. And the link for this video is going to be in the description box below. Now I wanted to use hoops for something else so this is the design I came up with. And then now that I have it all there, I sealed the parts where they meet with strong adhesive and I used an E6000 glue. I then took it out and spray painted it silver and then I'm going to be decorating it with 2 inches round mirrors. I'm using a hot glue gun for now but when I'm done I'm going to turn it to the back and then use a stronger adhesive. After putting all the mirrors on the hoops, I got small craft sticks and I spray into them silver. I'll be placing mirrors around here so the craft sticks is going to make it easy for me to have them linked together with the other mirrors. I'm using a hot glue gun for now to attach the craft sticks but later on I'll turn it to the back and go around with a stronger adhesive. The open spaces that you see here will be covered up with 1 inch round mirrors.
This is what the design looks like. And now I'm going to turn it to the back and apply a stronger adhesive all around. I want to add to the design that I already have. And now to start off with the design, I need a straight line in the middle. For the extra design, I'll be using skewers and I spray painted them silver. I'm going to start the design with a straight line in the middle across. And after that, I'm going to continue the design to make it look like some form of starburst. The hoops are away from the wood, so that's why it doesn't look straight, but I promise you it is straight. So now I'm going to be attaching the remaining skewers to form the Starburst design. I'm only using a hot glue gun to keep everything in place, and after that I'm going to go around with a stronger adhesive. In the middle, I made sure that the skewers started at the same point. This is what it looks like when I was finished. And now I'm going to go around the whole thing with a strong adhesive and I'm using this 6000 glue. Now I'm going to be using mirror mosaic tiles cut into singular strips to decorate the edges. I'll be cutting a much wider piece to decorate the remaining wood. For the top of the table, I will use the same mirrors that were there before, but I'm going to be detaching the mirrors from the frame and gluing them on the table. Now, there were some open spaces, so I filled up those open spaces with mirror mosaic tiles. Here's what the table looks like when I was finished. I really love how the design is all open, so I took advantage of that and added string lights behind. To keep it more interesting, I added smaller mirrors in the middle. I'm so glad that I was able to change a table with a boring look into a unique, glamorous beauty. The mirrors in the middle are optional. You can put mirrors in the middle, like I did, or you can just leave it bare. It is nice to know the hula hoops helped me out in creating this awesome design. Now don't forget to check out my other video that I used hoops in making a decorative wall shelf. And the link for this video will be in the description box below. Don't forget to check out Green Crystal Rose and Mimi's design and the link for their channel and their collaboration video will be in the description box below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.